previously on Heavy Tea's Grow Show. What you want to do is now make sure that, that everything is in check, that your plants are fully hydrated, that they're not overly thirsty, where they're becoming limp. Um, you got to remember the plant is like a big hydraulic. The hydration is what makes it stiff, right? That's what makes it taunt. So the leaves being taunt, if you let it dehydrate too far, you're going to get that, that leaf that becomes kind of soft and the cuticle becomes soft. And then to rehydrate, oh. it depends on the size of the plant, but the, the standard is every foot the plant is tall, it takes an hour or two for that to rehydrate. Uh, breaker, breaker. Um, so um, I got some uh, bitches out in the back. Uh, they're not willing to bend the way I want to. I'm trying to train them, but every time I try to train them, I try uh, squeezing the stalks. Um, and then I, I try bending them with these, I have these 90 degree plant trainers, but I guess you could say one out of six to eight times I do it, I end up snapping a stalk. Uh, would you have any suggestions or any tools that you might know of that, uh, would help with that? Over. Breaker, breaker. If, if the branches are snapping, it's either they're too woody and they, they can't be bent or you're not being careful enough. And you're you're snapping them because you bent them too fast. If they're if they're too woody though, you can't be careful enough, and they're still gonna snap. So it needs to be soft enough. The only way you can tell that is from experience and and trial and error, like like you're doing. When you switch the lights into bloom, it's amazing the growth that you will see and the structural change that you'll see. Uh, there's a strain that I really like and that a lot of people breed with. I know you know cherry pie. Of course. Cherry pie has been a staple in a Ooh. lot of the more exotic things that have come down the line, right? For years. And, I mean. And, but, but cherry pie in veg is the ugliest fucking plant. <laughs> I don't know who decided to Over. flower it. It looks like shit. <laughs> like, you're just like, this motherfucker is like, it's overly leafy. It's structured. It doesn't have nice, strong branches. Um, a lot of wispy stuff, especially yeah. after you top it. And when you go into bloom, all of a sudden it becomes this heavyweight monster yeah. that produces and has straight buds that smell like cherries. Like Again, like... let me explain to you <laughs> right. how microphones you work. Pop, they are made to blocker. amplify your voice. There is no need to turn your voice up. If you're going to yell over... You could like, just get a little closer. But back. when you yell, over. it breaks my ears. Over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Jerry. Listen, listen, I'll talk to you later. Love All right, you. Mo, what up? Mo, Mo, buddy. Mo, buddy. I'm done. I'm on live right here. Yeah, you're on live. Turn down the radio. Oh, my God. <laughs> he did it. He did it. <laughs> he did it. You're on live, Mo. You're on the air. What's up, fellas? G give me a sense of, of what it takes today to, to be a, 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 good, a good breeder. Practice, practice, practice. And, and, and be willing to take criticism because, you know, just because you put some hot shit with some other hot shit doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be hot shit. But, right. you know. um, what is the hottest thing right now? I know exotics, purples and stuff right now, but uh, aside from that, what is the hottest – Strand of ours that people are looking at. Well, actually, right now it's it's a, it's a, it's kind of fifty fifty to be honest with you. A lot of you know a lot of guys are going after all that high end runs, blah blah blah, all that like you know they want sherb crosses, they want runs, anything sea junkies killing it, you know. But there's also a big part of the community that's going back and they're starting to rediscover and rehunt like Granddaddy Purple. You know what I mean? Like there's a huge hunt right now for that roadkill skunk. Like yeah. Find me that roadkill skunk, I'll make you a millionaire. Really? You know what I mean? If you can find that, dude. Like... Hordy Chris always said that. He's got the roadkill skunk, skunk, and I was like, same thing. Like, if you can if you can produce clones of that, let's do it yeah. because we will fucking knock it out of the park. One right. of the reasons why I don't like DMs is because it's just like a million, like, how do I get in your seat, man? It's like, <laughs> you, you don't. Yeah. You know, like I'll, find, like, I'll find you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll come knocking on your door. Or all I do is I soak them in. Uh, a cup of water and a little bit of peroxide, yeah. like a half a mil per gallon, to, to keep them clean and helps get into the seed, basically, mm -hmm. for 24 hours, and that taproot barely cracks, and I plant it. Yeah. It's... And put it under a fluorescent light, and they're going to pop up. Yeah, it's it's not rocket science, you know what I mean? But people like to overcomplicate it, but it's that simple. Uh, how, how are you men tonight? Yeah. Just doing a radio show, hanging out, doing our thing, waiting for you to call back. 
Um, I, but more importantly, how would you be um, probably germinating these seeds? Oh, well, um, that is none of your business, but um, I do have my way. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Now it's time for Heavy T's Grand Prize Question. Big Jack. Mm-hmm. Whoa, I just got to come up with a question like yes. that? Yes. Which is the coupon code on Neptune to use to get 10% off? What is the, the stripper's name My who friend. calls in from the uh, Gold oh. Rush? Oh, and you little pussy beach. What is the stripper's <laughs> name that calls in from Gold Rush? She called in twice. You should know her name. Yes, it's like a planet, but it's not a little dirty planet like your little USA planet. <laughs> For the grand prize, what... Was the name of the caller from New York tonight? <laughs> it is <laughs> Venus. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's what I asked earlier. But he asked you what was he the caller from New York. Up on you. He switched up the question. So repeat that. Oh, what was the name of the caller earlier? It was. From New York. Puerto Rican seed. Nope. Starts with an M, ends with an E. <laughs> Mo Buddy. Oh, <laughs> damn, that, he's right, but <laughs> you're not right. Uh, that was another color. <laughs> if like, it, was, if, it, was, was, it, right the if it, it starts with a man <laughs> and it ends with an E. <laughs> Manny. Damn, this guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, you won. All right, he won. Uh, won. Uh, go All claim right. your prize over there. We yeah. got you hooked up, my man. Uh, you could probably come in tomorrow. Jeez, I know you're man. local. Come in tomorrow and pick up your stuff. As soon as we fought, settle the suit with <laughs> um, Jerome, um, Duff, and um, the old sound guys. And Vinny. And Leah, And Dino. Yeah. And Cody. Then I can get paid. And Phil. And Kelly Breeze. <laughs> And Killer Chris, or Killer, what was that Killer game? Killer Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Um, and uh, Get a Load of TV, Hell and yeah. Unkemo, <coughs> and uh, We Love You, Mary Jane. As soon as we, as soon as we set all those suits, <laughs> you can get paid. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. So other than that, we out. We out. We out. Your mama's out. <laughs>